Americans are obsessed with sushi. I love sushi. I eat it all the time. The delicacy can be very expensive, as much as $200 per person for a meal at top sushi restaurants. But how do you know when you order sushi that you're getting what you paid for and not a cheaper substitute? To find out, we went out for some sushi, visiting 25 restaurants in New York City and Los Angeles, from famous celebrity restaurants like Nobu in New York City to local neighborhood hotspots. Okay, let's get three pieces of the red snapper. Then we wrapped up the fish and shipped it off to a lab for some DNA testing. Now the troubling findings. 68% of the samples turned out to be a different fish than we ordered, usually a cheaper variety. Can I get two orders, please, of white tuna? In New York City, every time we ordered yeah. white tuna, we got something entirely different, usually a fish called escolar, sometimes referred to as the Exlax fish, because it can be hard to digest and cause intestinal problems. Escolar is banned in Japan and Italy. It happened at Ariyoshi restaurant in New York City. We ordered white tuna, but we were given escolar, which could cause serious digestive problems. Why would you switch one kind of fish for another kind of fish? Switch? No, we, we, we didn't. To prove it, he found his shipping order, but sure enough, when my producer and I took a look, we saw Escolar. This is Escolar. You're not supposed to take a picture. In yeah, yeah. Can you just explain to us, please, what's, what's on no. there? Because I saw Escolar on that. It says Escolar. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't do that. In Los Angeles, we experienced the same switcheroo at Starfish Sushi. Why would you switch the fish? Uh, can you hold on a second? He never came back, but later denied the fish switch. Tamara Freuman, a registered dietitian, says she's seen patients who have gotten sick after eating Escolar. It's pretty awful. There's diarrhea, there's cramping. Some patients will also have some nausea and vomiting, headaches, um, and it can last a day, a day and a half, sometimes two days. And what about the red snapper we ordered? 60% of the time, the sushi restaurants made substitutions, mainly with tilapia, a much cheaper farmed fish. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. Recently, we ordered red snapper from you, but what we really got was tilapia. I didn't remember, sorry. Maybe this clip will help her recall what happened. Hey, what is that? Yes. Later, she called to apologize and said we could have a refund. As for world-famous Nobu, the fish we ordered was the fish we received. So what should sushi lovers do? Don't avoid sushi. Um, just make sure to order something like salmon, some shrimp dishes, things that are a little bit harder to fudge.